NanoCAD provides tools that assist you in drafting isometric drawings. These are drawings that show three sides of an object at the same time, though they're not actually 3D, as you can see when you rotate the viewpoint. Isometric drawings are useful for showing mechanical parts and are often used in piping diagrams. Isometric drawings are notable that many parts are drawn at 30 degrees. Even text and dimension text is slanted at 30 degrees. The tools provided by NanoCAD for isometric drafting include a template file, as well as a toolbar that turns on isometric mode and then switches isoplanes. In addition, there's tools for drawing rectangles, circles, and arcs in isometric viewpoint. To start an isometric drawing, open the isometric drawing template. Turn on the isometric toolbar by switching from ribbon mode to toolbar mode and then choosing the isometry toolbar. If you wish, you can return to ribbon mode. I prefer drawing in the top isoplane mode, so I'll click that button on the toolbar. Then click the ISO rectangle button. This starts the rectangle command with the ISO rectangle option. I'm going to click two points and form a rectangle. Notice that NanoCAD automatically slants the sides by 30 degrees. Then I switch to the next isoplane, use the rectangle command again to draw another side of the box. Finally, I switch to the right and draw one more ISO rectangle. To place text in isometric drawings, the text has to be obliqued and slanted by 30 degrees. I've created some textiles that do that. One textile for the left isoplane has an obliquing angle of negative 30. Iso right 30, and for the top plane, minus 30. I'm going to set the top plane as the current one, and then place some text on that plane. I start the text command, set a justification of middle, a height, and then an angle of 30 degrees. Then finally I can write the text. When I press enter, it appears correct. To place dimensions in isometric drawings requires dimension styles that have been adjusted for isometric drafting. In the Dimension Style Manager, you can see I've created three dimension styles, one for the top, right, and left planes. Let's take a look at the changes I've made. The changes are in the Text tab. I tell AnnoCAD to use the ISO Top text style in order to slant the text correctly. And as well, dimension should be aligned with the dimension line. I'm going to set ISO Top as the current style. Use the dim aligned command because it aligns dimensions with the elements of an isometric drawing. I'm going to select an element on the top plane, place the dimension. Notice that the extension lines are angled. To correct that, use dim oblique command. Select the dimension and enter a value of 30 degrees. The dimension now looks correct. <laughs>